this is the patient in whom we are going to show it to you the demonstration of our own technique that is called as a brush technique while doing the home pickup in endometriosis patient all of us knows the endometriosis when it uh, comes down to you there are the two options that whether you should be operating the patient or you should be doing the home pickup first and then cryopreserve the embryos and then go with the endometriotic surgery this patient has traveled all across the world and come down to us from the usa wherein they uh, suggested her for the laparoscopy for the patient having the amh of 1.3 so after assessing her we had given the consent that this is a procedure which needs to be done a dual stimulation of this patient and doing the ohm aspiration and the embryo formation again for two times and later on we thought that we should be doing the complete surgery for the endometriosis back in us she was advised that this surgery is important because there is accessibility to the follicle is very poor and she may land up into ovarian abscesses after the aspiration of the ohm but here we are going to tell you the technique so here is the needle coming from the down side the first part of the surgery that you should be screen the ovary you should know where is the endometrium is and you should start with the slowly aspirating the follicle which is at the periphery of the endometrium you should not uh, cause any uh, damage to the endometrium as far as the endometriosis patient is concerned because these ovary usually are the fixed ovaries so whenever there is a stimulation of this patient your needle and the probe should be in a, in a very steady manner should go into the follicles and just do a follicular aspiration of the follicular fluid the only one thing that you should be taken into account that while doing this aspiration the brush technique should be advocated in our institute we are done a thousands of patients with the patient is having the endometrioma the precautions here is that the way one should be doing when we are going to do a stimulation of this patient one should be uh, really thorough in about the sonographic pictures and what is the procedure has to be taken into account the procedure in this patient that all of us knows that whenever we are going to do a uh, ohm pickup of this patient usually if the patient is having the endometrioma and if you are going through and through with the endometrioma and you contaminated the fluid then the quality of the oocytes as well as the embryo formation is not that great so we de uh, decide to go ahead with this patient with using our brush technique which is already been published so here here you can see we have started of doing the aspiration of the follicles which is at the periphery of the endometrioma and only the one follicle which has been there which is just above the endometrioma and we in this patient because the patient is having the amh of 1.3 we are very much think about the patient that uh, even if there is a single follicle we should not just left it because of the fear of the endometrioma uh, aspiration or the future complications like the abscess formation here in this again you can see we are assessing the ovaries we are taking the needle down and seeing what are the follicles are there these are the peri endometrioma follicles and and we are going to do a follicular aspiration you can see the movements of the hand and the needle which is exactly what we wanted to have we are not going through the endometrium we are not disturbing the endometrium the my pedal of the suction is only going to get activated when i am in the center of the follicle and now uh, the follicle has been aspirated you can see just a little bit movement of my probe which will allow me to access the rest of the follicles and once i am in the follicle my needle will go inside by making the little bit corkscrew movement and once the corkscrew movement is been documented i will be going into the each of the follicle and then activate my suction so that there won't be any aspiration of the endometrioma and only the aspiration of the in of the follicular fluid so here that that was the last follicle i am going to get because i will be going to show it to you what is a brush technique the brush technique is been designed by our own and which is very very helpful in order to cause a prevention in the contamination of the follicular fluid secondly it will do not disturb the endometrioma it will not cause ovarian abscess uh, in our uh, thousands of patient series and we documented it so once we are doing the, this kind of a particular aspiration you can see the aspiration of the follicles and i am just going a small movement of my probe and the needle is in a full view wherein the needle goes into the follicle and follicles start going to get aspirated 
Once all the follicles are going to get aspirated, you can see the last follicle of the periendometrium of follicle is going to get activated. And my activation of the suction pump is only been, been there when the needle is inside the follicular fluid and, and I will not activate my suction when I am at the periphery of the endometrium. Now here is the our wound technique. You can see there is a one follicle which is just above the endometrioma. I am going through and through the endometrioma without having activation of my pedal or the suction. Once I am at the wall of the endometrioma, you can see the needle is entering at the wall of the endometrioma. We just do a brushing of the needle at the wall and then we are entering into the endo in the follicular fluid. So there will be only aspiration of the follicular fluid and once the follicle is collapsed, we are going to uh, take out the our foot uh, from the paddle of the suction and the we are just again do the same brushing movement in the endometrioma wall and we are coming out. This technique usually doesn't cause any uh, aspiration of the endometrioma, any contamination of the follicular fluid, any chances of the formation of abscess and this is well documented and that's why we thought that it should be uh, advocated in each and every forum and one should be done with the brush technique of the endometrioma when you are talking about the follicular aspiration or the OPU in the endometrioma patients and we documented this in our Facebook channel also. So thank you friends for watching this and do join our uh, YouTube channel. Thank you and this is the final picture wherein we showing everything is normal and the, there is a little bit. Thank you.